This is David's apartment. We just finished cleaning it uh, to a decent degree. And then the, the person's gonna be here to do the check and, and move out and return the keys in like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. This apartment has like two bedrooms, if you wanna call them that, and one big kitchen. Or you can use one of the bedrooms as a as a living room if you want. And this is the shoe cabinet by the front door. And then back here is the room with the bath and shower, and also with the sink. This design is popular, but it's a little impractical because if you uh, get your feet wet brushing your teeth, there's no way to avoid that. And uh, it doesn't dry out very well because it's really far from the heater, so in the winter it's cold and stays cold and wet all day. But they kind of like it in Japan some because it's one unit that has, you know, the mirror and the sink and, and brushing your teeth and shower all together. Here's the kitchen. There used to be a refrigerator right in front of me. And then here's, you know, the sink. And then in the corner there was a gas stove. And you can see the gas hook up. And then there's a big back window here. It's single pane glass. Usually apartments like that, that I've lived in and my friends have lived in are single pane. So they don't have good insulation. In the winter, uh, your heating bill gets up pretty high. But uh, it's a pretty spacious kitchen. It's a good, good kitchen, I think. This is the hot water turn on and turn off button. The hot water is, is uh, gas hot water and um, it's on demand, so that's good. You don't have a big tank. It'll just heat up whatever you want to use. Then here's David's... Uh, it was his bedroom, and he also had his computer in here. And there's the air conditioner and heating unit in the corner. This heating unit was not very powerful, so he used a kerosene uh, space heater in the winter as well. And kerosene is cheaper. And then on the other side, there's a cabinet there with sliding doors. And a lot of storage space there. It's tatami floor. You can see where it's the green patch by the window is where he set a shelf when the tatami was new. And so it aged differently right at the beginning. And I, d I had that happen too underneath one of my tables or underneath the legs to my bed, I think. So that's, that happens with new tatami if you set stuff on it and it doesn't breathe the same as the tatami around it. It's not bad or anything, but obviously it looks, you know, green. And this is the other other tatami room. It's the same size and shape as the first one. It has the cabinets on the back, so that's that's pretty good storage space for the apartment. And then on the front, the windows. Again, the, the single pane glass. Um, but it's nice to have the big view here. And there's a rack for hanging your laundry. Um, David used to have a metal bar that ran across here off to the left. And you can see the other end there and then he could uh, just hang laundry on hangers uh, on the metal bar and clip it on there. And then, like a lot of apartments, the smoke detector is built in, so it's a non-smoking place, and that's good. And we're leaving the light fixtures here, but often people take the light fixtures with them. You can detach it from the ceiling really easily, um, and there's a certain type of twist attachment connector that's standard for Japan. And that's about all there is to say. One of the things that is notable about David's place and mine is they're not that old, but a little old. Well, my place is really old. But uh, somewhere there's a circuit breaker. Let's go find it. Here's the circuit breaker. You can see it's 20 amps for the entire place, and mine is too. And we really wish we had more. I mean, 20 amps just isn't enough if you want to run uh, the air conditioner and the oven and the refrigerator that might blow the circuit breaker or you know that kind of thing like three appliances and one of them is your heater you can barely do it so 
that's kind of a, uh, a drawback. What I usually do is I turn off my heater if I want to use my oven, and then David has to think about that too, but he used a kerosene stove, so he had a little bit of flexibility. But uh, we, we really wish that we had a bigger, uh, bigger circuit breaker, more electricity to play with. And this corner is where uh, he had his washing machine. Uh, just cold water only. You can see there's only one um, attachment that's fairly standard for Japan. I wish they had hot water as well. Um, and then it has its own separate draining area. And usually you buy your own washer when you move into a place and you take it with you when you move out. And then there's a small bathroom to the right here, uh, but there's no need to go look at the toilet. Uh, we ran out of uh, water when they turned the water off, so it's not that clean. Oh well. And that's his apartment.